Welcome to Spoken Tutorial on Banking and General Ledger in Front Accounting. In this tutorial, we will learn to create General Ledger Classes, General Ledger Groups and General Ledger Accounts. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux OS version 16.04, Front Accounting version 2.4.7. To practice this tutorial, you must have knowledge of Higher Secondary Commerce and Accounting Principles of Bookkeeping and you should have already set up an organization or a company in Front Accounting. If not, for relevant Front Accounting tutorials, please visit this website. Start the XAM services before you begin working on Front Accounting interface. Let us open the front accounting interface. Open the browser and type localhost slash account and press enter. The login page appears. Type the username as admin and the password. Then click on login button. The front accounting interface opens. Click on banking and general ledger tab. In the maintenance panel, we can see the options GL accounts, GL account groups and GL account classes. Before we start with any transaction, we need to set the charts of accounts. The charts of accounts in front accounting is defined by type, class, group and account. All transactions are charged to an account, group and classes. These are used to group transactions for reporting purposes. In front accounting, account belongs to a group and group belongs to a class. It will be reflected in the balance sheet and profit and loss account statement as per the account group. Switch back to the front accounting interface. The first step is to set the general ledger account classes. Click on GL account classes link in the maintenance panel. Here, by default, the class name and class type are defined as Assets, Liabilities, Income and Expense. Also, we can see that the class ID is set for each class type. We need to set this class before setting the account group. Now, we will see how to add a new class. In the class ID field, type 5. The class ID should be a unique value. In the class name field, type equity. Click on the class type drop down box. We can see the default list assets, liabilities, equity, income, cost of goods sold, and expense. Front accounting follows this class type to present in the balance sheet. Select the class type as equity. Click on add new button at the bottom of the window. A message is displayed. New account class has been added. Here we can see that the new class equity has been added to the third row. This is because in the default class type equity is on the third hierarchy level. So whenever a new class is added it takes the default place of that class type. Now let us see how to add GL groups. Go to the Banking and General Ledger tab. Click on the GL account groups link in the maintenance panel. We can see the default group name which shows GL account groups under the class. You can also see the group ID is set according to the class. In the ID field type the new group ID as 12. In the name field I will type fixed assets as the group name. The group name fixed assets does not belong to any subgroup that is already available. Hence, in the subgroup field, keep the field as none. Now click on the class drop down box. According to the charts of accounts, fixed assets come under the class of assets. So select class as assets. To save these changes, Click on add new button at the bottom of the window. We can see an error message 
that says this account group ID is already in use. So a unique class ID has to be added to each group name. Let's change the group ID to 13. Click on the add new button at the bottom of the window. This time we can see a message that says new account type has been added. The new group name is added randomly within the class assets. Likewise, we can add our own group name. Now let us see how to add GL accounts. Click on the banking and general ledger tab. Then click on GL accounts link in the maintenance panel. Here also we need to type a unique code. It is a mandatory field. In the account code field, I will type 1100 as the code. You can give any code of your choice if you wish to. Click on the account name field. Type the account name as land and building. You can give any name of your choice. In the account group drop down box, select the account group as fixed assets. The account name land and building has to come under the group fixed assets as per the charts of accounts. Next, click on the account status drop down menu. Select the status as active. Then click on add account button at the bottom of the window. We can see the message new account has been added. Now click on the new account drop down box at the top. We can see the newly added account here. Each organization will have their own sets of account codes as shown here. Likewise, by following the above steps, you can create your own GL accounts. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned to create general ledger classes, general ledger groups, and general ledger accounts. As an assignment, create new GL accounts, cash and capital with the below details. Save the changes. Now, we have set the charts of accounts for our company with new GL accounts. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more detail, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD Government of India. The script and the video has been contributed by Spoken Tutorial team. This is Pratik Kamle signing off. Thanks for joining.